I told us so. Unbelievable what's going on. How's everybody doing tonight? Uh, yeah. That, that pop that pee video. Like, imagine you've got, you're just in the kitchen and he puts the song on to that song, dancing with your adopted mom. And then you start dancing like that with your mom in a video. That's out there on the internet forever. Cool, right? Cool beans. How's everybody going? Yeah, I was working today, so I was like, ah, I'm going to talk about this, but I didn't want to do a whole video on it because I had a Kira video coming out tomorrow. So I thought we'd sit down and uh, I can slow the chat down if it's getting a little bit crazy for people. Yep. But I thought we'd just talk about it because I like talking with you guys. I like these kind of live conversations when big news goes down. It's nice to do a video of it, but it's also nice to do a live where you guys can have your say and you can, you know, you can... Say things like Jay here says, she's about to adopt one more child to keep her name. <laughs> it's Dockety 13 now. That's a luck. It's a bad luck number too. Hello, Troy. How you doing? Where's everybody from? A toe to sew. A toe to sew. It doesn't take rocket appliances. If you guys haven't watched the Trailer Park Boys, please do yourself a favor and go watch the Trailer Park Boys. Okay, thanks. Yeah, the Doherty Baker's doesn't. It doesn't it doesn't roll off the tongue? It's not going to work. And I wouldn't put it past her to probably go try to find another kid to adopt. But we're going to talk about it a little bit today, of course. Excellent. I love to hear when people are from everywhere all over the world. Sarnia. Been there. Been there. That's actually a good idea. I've never watched the Trailer Park Boys Christmas special. I haven't. Oh, lots of Ottawa's tonight. Welcome. I'm in Ottawa. Jeez, we got lots of people. I love it. All right. So if you didn't know what's going on with the Doherty Dozen, I'll give you guys a short update. Some of you guys just joined lives. You don't know what's going on, but obviously know that I covered the Doherty Dozen to a wide extent on this channel. And to a lot of people, that's not a big surprise. But um, so she posted this 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 thing on her thing this morning and I have it on my community page. You can go take a look at it. But basically she said, without doing a video on it, trying to kind of slip it in there so that you know people can ask questions. She can get a little bit, but she's not going to do a video on it likely because she can't do a video on it. I don't know. Um, but basically just said, yeah, uh, Nevada has moved out. So now we're, thir now we're 13 with uh, 11 kids. And it was, it's so just, okay. It's just so nonchalant. She's just like, she's gone. And the craziest part of that is, and I'll show you this, this picture here. Let's see if we can get it open for you. Is, is this thing, right? So you got, let me just uh, move this over so I can use my mouse on it. So it's odd enough. Like, so, so. This is the craziest part. Oh, thanks, Jen. 40th. Living the dream. Thanks, Troy. Send a link about the Ruby Cording. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. So basically, if I can get this open here. Where's my tools? Here they are. So the, the oddest part about this, before I get into this photo, the oddest part about this is that 
Alicia has done many videos, specifically the video she's done about N and D, where she's like, they're my family now. When you live at my house, you're my family. And I have that video. We've seen it in my videos a bunch of times. I have it. I can bring it up. I just don't have access to it right at this moment because I'd have to go looking for it because I have all of her videos. But we've all seen the videos of Dr. D doesn't have Alicia saying they're my family now and I'm praying over them and Jesus wants them here and I'm a good person, blah, blah, blah. And she talks about how you know, the lady at the grocery store was like, are these all yours? And she's like, why would you even ask that? Of course they're all mine. Like she's, she took massive amounts of pride in seeing that. Okay. She was just, she was all over that and was like, look how good I am. But this is what really gets a lot of people's goats. Okay. So as soon as N leaves this house, right, this is her Facebook profile and all the other profile pictures. You see something missing here. You see this discoloration here. Oh, you can't see my mouse. I don't know if you can see it. You can't see my mouse. Okay. That's really weird. Anyway, see this line? I know you can't see my mouse, but there's a line here. She literally just cropped her right out of the photo. Just like, bye, see you later. It's no, you know, it's not like we wish you luck in your future. We loved that you lived with us. We hope that you have a, you know, you have a better time in your new place, or we hope you find the help you're looking for. We loved having you here. It's all this. It's none of that type of stuff. It's just like, crop you out of the picture, peace. That's it. Right now, I know Nevea is going through some stuff past in her past and everything else and all that, but that's kids who come from adoption. That's just, that's part for the course. That's it. And you decided to do this and you exploited this child. Alicia exploited her and her brother for lots and lots of money. And even we know that she threatened that she want her gone and you know, all this kind of stuff. We know that's going on. And so that's, that's just basically what she's just like, peace out. See you later. Just that's it. Bye. And that's gross, right? Yeah. Ashley, Nicole, you said it right. That's just gross. Okay. Just nasty. So doc, we're filling in and Dr. D doesn't, uh, lost one of their children, not lost, but they moved out. They don't want to be there anymore. And probably hasn't wanted to be there for a long time. Didn't feel comfortable on camera. Didn't feel comfortable being a part of the thing was like, t didn't want to be on camera. So eventually I think Alicia and then just like basically said, it's time, time to you. It's time for you to start looking for someone else, somewhere else to live because we film here. We know that she said on camera that she films in her home. And if they can't film, she doesn't want them there because it's going to be really hard to film and not put them in the videos. Right, Gus? Right, Gus? Right? Come here, buddy. What are you doing? What's he... No, I'm looking at my nachos is what he's doing. He's looking at my nachos. Right, Goose Goose? Mm, you good boy. Would you like a nacho? There you go. Thank you. We'll finally see Lush edit her videos for once. Keep saying that here's what my 12 kids ate today. 11 doesn't quite roll off the tongue. Yeah. This is it. Praying for her. I hope she finds success and happiness in her future. This is, I'm, you know, I hope so. Yeah. N is 15. If you guys were wondering, um, if you don't know the story of N and D, they both came to live with uh, Alicia. Oh, sorry here. Uh, I think you should start covering Tiffany videos so you can catch up in November. I will, for sure. We will get into that 100%. So... Slow mode, 30 seconds. This is too slow. Too slow. So basically, if you didn't know, Alicia has like six adopted kids and four bios or seven, something like that. Six adopted, four bio, and then two kinship kids. And the two kinship kids are the most recent kids that came with her, right? And kinship, there's not really any rules. It's not fostering because fostering and allowed to show faces. So it almost makes me wonder if Alicia just did a kinship placement so that she could avoid the rules of fostering. Okay, because it's, it's basically fostering, but it's got a different title and there's not a lot of rules. I also think that if you're kinship a placement, you shouldn't all, you should have the same rules as being fostered. Okay, why do they have rules for foster kids but not rules for kinship kids? That's stupid. Yeah, this, she's crazy. So. Um, basically she brought these kids in and I've been reading a lot of comments on the uh, Reddit forum, which is Doherty doesn't expose. And in my Facebook group, which is the problem with family vloggers dash the DCP. Um, and I just been reading a ton of it. I hope to get out there for sure. Um, and there's a lot of people that are just super pissed. Like she's just a number. You're just a number in this family. You're a content create. You're part of the creation of the content. And when you're no longer useful, you're kind of out. Right? These kids are already struggling with enough from the past and the trauma and everything else and having to go to a new home. Nobody really talks about that. These kids, they're in a home that's strange to them. Yeah, they get Nikes and they get phones and they get all the things they want, want, but don't need. They don't get the love and the protection. They don't get the, they don't go to their therapies. None of this stuff. They're just there. Alicia does so much content. It's actually mind blowing. 
Okay, she does so much content almost every day, if not every single day, sometimes twice a day she's doing content. And then every birthday, every event they go to, everything is content. Do you know how long it takes to do that stuff? You know how busy she probably is? All family YouTubers are crazy and they use their kids. Exactly, I agree. I don't know. <laughs> but here it is, man. Like it, All of them are, they're just content. And Alicia cannot parent her kids properly. I've said this a ton of times. Her and Josh cannot parent 12 kids properly. Even if they weren't full-time content creators and full-time teacher, they still wouldn't be able to. Okay, Alicia, although that she does do full time content, there is absolutely no way in hell that she could do this because she's doing laundry for seven hours a day. She's going grocery shopping almost every other day for three or four hours while they're at school. There's just no way that she can give these kids the attention and love that they deserve, need and want. It's impossible. And they're just a number. And this and this thing just proves it. Just proves it right here. You're just a number here because as soon as you're gone. You are cropped out of the family. What happened to being part of the family, right? And it's just, it, it's so crazy how she did. She's like, well, bye. See you later. Don't want you here. Get lost. It, it's bananas what's going on through here. So, and I know a lot of people were like, I hope N gets away. I do. And people were talking about like, I hope she whistle blows. And I'm kind of torn on that because I would prefer, and I hope she realizes this, that getting off the internet is probably the best thing for her right now. Just taking a big break from it. Don't get on there. Don't read the comments. Don't get out there. Don't whistle blow any of that stuff. But when she's ready, when she's older, maybe, I don't know, right? But at this point, she just needs to get away from all that. And I'm glad she is, right? And I hope she's in a safe space. This got found out today when Alicia posted on her on her video, mom of 11 or something like that, where she's like, and, and all these other ones, she's just updating her little, her about sections. It's like, oh yeah, we're a family of 13, 11 kids now. Nevaeh moved out. Bye. That was it. That's what she wrote. Just like, it's crazy. No, she's definitely not with her mom. Do I think she'll say something in the future? I wouldn't blame her if she didn't, right? Uh, it, it, if there is some stuff going on at home that requires a whistleblower, it's not her responsibility, okay? Let's be real about that. But if she does, then good for her. But it's not on her to do that. And someday if she wants to do that, cool. But for now, I honestly believe she just needs to get away from it and just be hidden away from all this. I pray and D is doing okay and still talking to her sister. This is the problem. This is, the, this is a big part of this conversation too, right? Splitting up sibling groups when they've been together their whole life through all the trauma that they've been through. That's just going to separate and divide them a lot. That's the truth of it, Okay. These people have been through hell and back together and we're together in this and now he's there and she's not. And that's gonna, I mean, regardless of what you think and maybe right away, it's not a big deal, but it's going to affect them on a really, really high level. Okay. They're brother and sister. They are blood related. And again, they have been through the shit and to now go through the shit without each other. That's going to be that that's, that's devastating. Okay. It's just devastating. And Alicia's just like, well, cut, crop you out of the photo. Bye. There could be there could be alienation going on now, right? Because if N does decide to speak up on some level, that could literally destroy this channel. It could take away everything. Some people were asking maybe N signed an NDA. I'm not entirely sure of the legal process, but I'm pretty sure minors can't sign NDAs. Like you're not like you can sign one, but it's not you're not you're not gonna be held liable for that because first of all, you're a kinship placement, and I don't think she's allowed to sign an NDA without a lawyer present, blah blah blah. And if Alicia just maybe scared her with an NDA and maybe she's scared to talk, but maybe that's what happened. I don't know, but that's not legally binding as far as I'm aware. So probably family member or a friend, a very close friend's family, probably. It probably means the N found another home. Do we know if N? No, she did not go back to her mom. Her mom would have said something. I mean, Melvin, you might be right. You cannot make a contract with a minor. But let's not forget that Alicia signed her kids to that criminal's thing according to witnesses and allegedly that she signed on with that criminal that guy that went to jail for 22 million dollars with a fraud it's her manager sun and sky entertainment all of her kids are signed to lifetime contracts so kids can't but the parents can sign the contracts to those things so mm. 
This is it right here. Carla Ruder says it right. Hope Rudder or Ruder. Money doesn't buy you love. Money doesn't really help. That's it. This is like, we've been, you see so many comments on the Dr. D Dozen's channel. So many comments about like, you're such a good man because you buy them shit. Like hands up if you think buying kids things makes you a good person. No. Does spoiling kids make kids better? No. Okay. It doesn't. Alicia thinks that, that that's their love language, which means she doesn't know their love language. Now, maybe one or two of the children's love language is receiving gifts. Okay. But do you think all 12 of them, that was their love language? Or could their love language be like time spent, quality time, words of affirmation? Which Alicia probably doesn't do, but does do words of affirmation at the end of her video to all these strangers that watch her. Okay, maybe some of the kids' love language is just like, again, spending time, going out, doing, having experiences, right? Knowing that they're safe, comfortable. So Alicia just does everything for every single child. Like they all fit into one neat little thing and they don't. She is admitted on camera and on TikToks about all the things that they struggle with and yet doesn't take care of those things food aversions, all the traumas that they go through. Instead, she probably just drugs them to sleep so she can have her time to go on YouTube afterwards. And is 15 right now. This is the thing. We've all seen this. And has always looked so sad. I felt so badly for her. I pray she's happy. And you know, I'll get a lot of pushback for doing this video. But at the same time, this is Alicia's responsibility to not put her children's business on the internet because then it becomes a conversation and that's not on them right this is the same thing for ruby and everybody's like oh you shouldn't talk about this and shouldn't talk about your pastor now we should talk about this you know why we should talk about this so that we could call attention to it more and make it worse and add a stigma to this because you got you got eight passengers over here rotten in jail and there's a big update on jody coming out soon apparently she's like got hurt Allegedly, I don't know. The lawyers aren't talking, but she's like life-threatening. Something happened in prison. So shit's going down, okay? And you've got that happening over there amongst seemingly super amazing videos of this amazing family who treats her kids amazing, blah, 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 ends up gonna be probably going to jail for a very long time. And now you got over here a doctor he doesn't pretending like she's a super mom, buying her kids all the shit, feeding them sugar galore, and all of a sudden one of the kids moves out? I thought it was so nice over there. I thought it was perfect. Right, this this casts sh shade and shadows into the imp into the perfection sphere, and it, it exposes the imperfections. That was a weird way of saying that. Yeah, I think it was just recently. Why does she talk about her kid's diagnosis? Because uh, it brings her views. It makes her. She does it for the attention that it gives her. She's like, you're because she likes to be like, you're such a good mom. You're such a this and that. And she likes to be like, well, you know how hard my life is because look at all the diagnosis my children have. Like, it is insanity that we know every single diagnosis. I mean, every single one. And sometimes when she did TikToks, she would put a page of complete diagnosis of a kid and she would list them off like check, like a checklist of that child. And it's like this, it's this point of like pride for her. It's really weird. And again, that's where people started getting pissed at her for doing this kind of stuff. You think Alicia didn't know if she wanted to get, if she wanted to go crazy, crazy, she would tell the story. She would do a video on it. I don't think she's going to do a video on it. And here's another thing. Is she going to have to, yeah, she's going to put her kids in danger. Is she going to have to remove every video about N? Because if N is watching, and I hope you are, you can request her through a lawyer, through ad litem or whatever your support is to tell her to take every single video with you down off of the internet or at least blur you out or to some degree take you out of the video because it can be done in the back end youtube editor it'll take her a long time because you're in a lot of content but if n is in content and she does not want to be on the internet she can tell alicia to remove every single video of her and every mention of her name and she has to comply to it and it would take her a long time okay i hope n does that i really really do Okay, it's going to be interesting to find out later when this all comes through and she grows up and she tells the world what happened, well, who Alicia really was, because Anne knows exactly who Alicia is. Okay, exactly. She's going to, yeah, any social media, she's going to, she, she wants to be removed. She's a minor that no longer lives with this family and is, is in charge of her 
content. And she said, I don't want to be on the internet anymore. And if Alicia doesn't take that off, that's really chachi. I've got to go sleep. It's 135. Love your message. Which other can take care? Well, happy birthday, Jen. And thank you for being here. I don't know. I hope that laws are passed. I know there's a law passed in Illinois, but I hope it happens in New York. I hope it happens in every state. And I hope, yeah, I hope the kids sue them. Because here's the thing about family vloggers, everybody. They make a ton of money. They live lavishly for the long period of time that they have it all. They live above their means. They buy expensive houses with massive mortgages and brand new cars and lease vehicles and vacations. And then when the money starts drying up, they're still straddled with all these things and they can't afford it. And the money's all gone and the kids don't see a penny. Okay, the lifestyles that these people lead, as much money as they do make, and they make a lot of money, that's not going to last, everybody. That's going to, and they live like it's going to last. And they buy super expensive things and they just throw the money away. And again, these kids don't see a penny of it. And when it's gone, they're screwed. I don't think it was silence, Suzanne. I don't, Alicia thinks she could buy end silence with expensive clothes and shoes. I don't think it was silence she was trying to buy. I think it was coercion. I think it was like be in these videos and you get all these things. I think that's what it was. Will you cover KB and baby Christian family vloggers? Maybe never heard of them. There are so many family vloggers out there, everybody that like it's, it's astronomical. So maybe, yeah. Please hit the like, thank you. So if you're just joining in, we got 4,000 in the chat right now. So if you're just joining in, this is what's happening with the Doherty Dozen, okay, everybody? Uh, and one of the kinship placement children has moved out, and Alicia just kind of, like, cropped them right out of the photo. Bye. And we're talking about what the ramifications are, the history of all this stuff, and what, what they really mean to her, right? Do they really mean that much to Alicia? She talks about how they're her children, and she's they're here, and we love them, and blah, blah, blah. And then she, her actions are completely separate from her from her words, if you loved someone and they're part of your family, do you just crop them out of the photo and tell them to piss off? That's really weird, man. Like that's Alicia's showing more of her true colors than I don't, and I don't think she meant to do that. But look at this photo. Look at this line. Yeah, you can't see my mouse, but look at that line. You could just see just just like it's just bye. Cropped out of the photo. Peace out. It's just it's disgusting, man. It's disgusting. Glad to catch another live. Thank you for everything. Thank you very much for being here. Oh, yeah. Lush is watching this one right now. Hey, Lush. Suck it, a-hole. What if N has a protection place to where she can't be posted? I, I hope so. And so we're going to keep an eye on all of Lush's videos and see if she starts removing all the images and names. Like, it's going to take her. She's going to have to hire a professional to do it. Right? Because she's going to have to either unlist those videos, make them private, not even unlist them. She's going to make that stuff private because then maybe N can sue her. You know what I'm saying? I think if anybody's got a case, it's N. She's going to want to have to sue. She, she's going to have a lot to sue for. Guys, I need you to understand this. Alicia, in her time on YouTube, has probably made eight figures. Yeah, seven figures. Let's say seven. It's a million. Over a million dollars. She's made over a million dollars. Okay? She has made... More money than most people will ever see in their entire lives. She makes more money in a month than most people make in a year. Okay? Craziness how much she makes. And has just spent and spent and spent, but can't even spend the amount of money she makes. She makes so much money. And do you think that N walked out the door with her share, her cut? Right? If you took the amount of minutes that N is in any of the videos and divided by the view counts of those videos, you could easily come up with a percentage that she's owed. Do you think she walked out with a big fat check? She didn't walk out with a big fat check. She probably walked out with the clothes on her back, maybe a few little things, and was told to keep all her shit there, including her phone and stuff. Brittany Morrow. Which one is that? Is that the one who got remarried? With another dude and had another baby? Um, I just download my videos. I don't watch them, but you can watch them on YouTube, W-E-Y-T-U-B-E, -E, something like that. But I just download them right away. Uh, she left. She moved out.
So Lush showed them off like shiny new toys and then threw them away in the trash. Exactly. That's couldn't put it better myself, Maui. Like, remember when she brought them in? She filmed the moment they stepped into her home and was so glowing and excited and giddy about it all. And then started getting some big views. She jumped up to a million subscribers really fast after the kinship placement. So again, I ask, is Anne going to get her big fat check that she is owed? And if not, I hope she's got a lawyer because she should sue the Doherty Dozen for her big fat check. And again, it's very easy to tell how much she's owed based on the amount of time she's in videos and the percentage and the you know, all that stuff. She's going to be owed. I'm not joking, you guys. Hundreds of thousands of dollars, in my in my opinion. <clears throat> Felicia has made millions of dollars. Maybe not hundreds of thousands. Let's say, you know, hundred more or more thousand dollars she's going to be owed. Because Alicia makes insane amounts of money. Okay? Um, insane. And all because... Of kids like N. All of her kids are owed this money. And Alicia, do you think Alicia gives her kids money? No. They get, she buys them Nike. She buys them the switches. She buys them clothes. She buys them all the, But she doesn't put anything away from them. She doesn't invest them in any other way. Do you think she puts money away from them? Mm -mm. I think it's spelled like this. I put it in the comment section. Y-E-W. Do you think N asked Lush to crop her? Probably what happened was they went to court because the mom had this post here the other day. Let me show you this quickly. This is what I'm thinking anyway. So this is what her mother posted the other day. I have court Thursday. Please pray for my daughter. Um, I need to find a relative to take her in ASAP. So this is what she posted. So what probably happened, and I hope this is what happened, is that they went to court. The judge granted whatever, the movement, and they probably had to present the things that she felt unsafe about, the social media and everything else, and then went. And the judge probably said, no longer allowed to talk about her. I hope the judge even said, you've got 30 days to remove her from the videos, everything. Like, you're not going to be able to say, take it down now. But the judge is going to say, look, you're a social media influencer, so you make your money. I'm going to give you 90 days to get rid of those mentions of her and photos and videos and everything of her and those things. Right? Like, her whole, like, Doherty Dozen's channel is crumbling to the ground right now, guys. This is going to be a major, major pivotal moment in this channel. Because she's just like, yeah, post a di exactly. Post a different picture, um, because she's gonna. This is this is revealing who she really is and what really goes on in this home. If it's just if it's as good as all her fans think it is, and all the comments she receives, like this is amazing, you're so good. If it's that good, then why is this kid just like it, itching to leave, right? If it's so amazing, why do you want to leave so bad? You're and it's she's not the only one that this is happening to. I promise you. Okay, allegedly there are other older kids who are also considering trying to figure out how to get out. Lush will fall hard when all the truth comes out. Her downfall already happening. Hi from UP. I'm up more, up more north than you. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the downfall. This is the beginning, for sure. Hello, Felicia. If you're wondering what happened, Doherty doesn't, lost a child, and moved out. We think it's probably because the court decided that she can go to another kinship placement and uh, Alicia just completely cropped her out and it was just like, eh. You know what? I hope this sets a precedent too. I hope, like, I hope eventually people who are being adopted and fostered into families, this, we talk about how laws need to be made, but we also have to get, we also have to lobby adoption firms and agencies and all that stuff to put in place a social media policy. How could you not have a social media policy put in place? Only for foster kids? Right? You have to understand these kids were kinship placement. Their lives could have been in danger from past people in their lives too. The reason you don't put foster kids on and put them in the internet is because they might have people trying to find them. Dangerous people. Okay? And kinship placement is not really different than that. You shouldn't be able to put, even adopted kids, man, there might be people trying to find adopted kids. If adoption agencies fostering all these people don't start putting in social media policies right away, they, and they, sh and I mean, I'm not even saying, they, they are complicit already. But if they don't start now after knowing what they know, they're even more complicit, okay? And you got to start putting in, hey, if you're going to adopt through our agency, no social media, not until they're 16. 
14, whatever. I don't care. Make it a number. 16 years old, and if they can consent, cool, no problem. But up until that point, it's got to be all private. We want, we don't want to see it in the public. You're not doing it. If you're going to adopt and put them on the internet, you're not adopting from our agency. I cannot believe that more people aren't doing that. Do you think she makes, yeah, she makes way more than $50,000 a month. Right now, she's probably capping at about seventy to 100000 because her view counts are in the toilet. But at her peak, when we started talking about her, she was pulling in three to $400,000 a month insane numbers 50 60 million views a month okay insanity the money she's making but now her view counts are in the toilet and she's probably doing about 70 to 100 which is still that's mind-boggling how much money that is guys a month you should never film your kids or foster kids and could have been unsafe for mom or exactly Can Alicia get in trouble for showing N when the court initially said no showing? We don't know that. I don't know. I have no idea. I hope so. And I hope the judge said, hey, you got 90 days, 60 days, whatever. Get her off the channel. She doesn't want to be a part of this family anymore. She doesn't want to be exploited anymore. Get her off. And I hope the judge also said, and you're going to be paying her for all the time she spent on your channel. I don't think judges are probably in the know enough about all this to say that they are owed money. I don't know. I hope so. And I hope her lawyer fought for that. But if she didn't, N always has a chance to sue absolutely she does and i hope she does i really do she's owed lots of money yeah listen to nighty here yeah i mean i i hope so probably like i don't know if it was just like one day she just came in like uh, you know what when it came to Lisha, if it's a judge's decision all this went down she probably just came home and said well she's gone bye and it was probably just no no love lost type of thing. You know what I mean? Because that's who Alicia is. And it, it, she proved it in her actions and what she did. She just made a couple of... She didn't even make a video about it and whatever. Probably not allowed to. But just made a couple of posts, which is probably what the judge said she was allowed to do. She probably said, hey, what am I supposed to tell everybody? They're expecting her being here and she's not showing up. The judge said, here's what you're allowed to say. That's it. Leave it at that. She's not going to do a video. But she's itching to do a video on it, but she won't do a video on it. Nana, you son of a bitch. That looks like a delicious Starbucks. I don't, not, not yet. I'm looking at her social blade. Let me take another quick look. I haven't seen much. And I don't think she has to take the videos down. She probably just has to blur out or cut those parts of the video. Out. That's what I think. I am tired. Yeah, so far... Well, her, her monthly view, guys, holy shnikes, her monthly views are down 50%, 50% or more, 21 million views in the last 30 years. I know it seems like a lot to a lot of people, but she used to be at 50, 53 million a month. Now she's at 21 million a month. That's still a crazy amount, guys. I get like 3 million a month. So she's like, okay, can you imagine? In my state of Maine, you can't post pictures of foster children or children that have been adopted through state agencies for one year. I, I, and that's great, but it should be more. It should be their whole life. Thank you, Josh, for being an advocate for those children who don't have a voice. Thank you. Yeah, I, I try to be the voice for those kids because I didn't have someone doing that for me when I was a kid. And I'm not saying I was exploited, but I absolutely needed somebody in my life when I was young, and I never got it. And so I'd like to think that I can be that. I'm not saying they all. And most of these kids probably hate me, guys. Because I make fun of their parents and stuff like that. But at the same time, I think in the end, they're, they'll realize when they get older. Which country do you live in? Because that's that's every country should adopt that. I wonder if Alicia let her take her things. I, you know what? I think she probably did because if she didn't and it comes out that she didn't let her take her things, that is going to destroy her even more. So... If she didn't let her take her things that were bought for her, then like even her fans will hate her. Let's be real. Okay. Your fans, the fans will not be able to stand up for her for that. Even that crazy lump on a log troll looking lady in, uh, and what's her face, Linda or something in Australia that helps this family. I know you're watching too. Even you won't be able to stand up for her. If you, if you, if you realize that she didn't let and take all her things. Okay. Even you can't stand up for her. Dumbass.
On the whole video today, Alicia says she bottle feeds too. What? What? Bottle feeds? This is a scary, scary thought. I hope this doesn't destroy the relationship N and D have. Again, there could be alienation here. He decided to stay because he likes the life he has there. He doesn't mind being exploited. But it's, and that may be something that's okay, but it's not for everybody, obviously. And Alicia makes it for everybody. We know like explicitly two or three of her kids absolutely hate being on camera, if not more. Okay, we know for sure. And Alicia doesn't care. Alicia doesn't actually th see her kids as autonomous human beings. You know how we know that? Because everything that they do, they got to wear matching clothes. Because every time they do something, they got to be a they did roll call. They got to make something up. Her kids are just content. They are a roll call. They are a number. Because again, she's like, we're 13 now, 11 kids. It's all about numbers for her. She's obsessed with numbers. It's just, it's bananas. Yes, D is still with Alicia. Yeah, this is Alicia's <laughs> Yep, the last video of them was on the NASCAR. Thank you, Crystal. I appreciate it. No, I don't I, I stopped speaking with Ends by a mom a long time ago just because I didn't like the vibes of what she was trying to do. And so I just like, it's just not worth it. It really isn't. Yeah. Lush can give her what she needs. And this is the craziest part about Lush having, you know, 11 kids now, right? She can't give any of the kids what they need because they all need different things. And that would take of, it would take you to be a full-time stay-at-home mom to do the things to make your kids' lives better. Okay. It would be insanity even at that if she wasn't posting social media full-time. So when she posts social media full time, we know that that's what takes precedent in their family. Content is, is everything to them. It matters more than everything else. And we can see it with our eyes. Hey, fellow Canadian, love everything. Hey, life with Gigi. Yep. This is every family vlogger. The kids are dollar signs. Remember Maya Knight? Do you know Maya Knight? She's such a douche. She did that uh, when her kids were coming to the kitchen. She's like, bag alert, major bag alert. And she was like making it fun. But that's true. These kids... You, when when kids make you money, the relationship is different. It is completely different. And that is crazy that that's even a thing that we have to say with our lips. These kids make parents money. And so their relationship with their parents is different than if they weren't making their parents money. Sean has a post saying her daughter needed a relative. Yeah, we just, we just, shoot, we just showed that. I have court Thursday. Please pray for my daughter. I need to find a relative to take her in ASAP. Cool. I'll take a look at it. D's a teenage boy. He doesn't realize what actually happening is just loving all the material. Yeah. And maybe D's love language is the gift giving and all the things he never had because it's a flex and he likes to have that in the status and everything else and being in a rich family. I grew up like N and D before they got to Doherty Dozen. Okay. That's how I grew up. And that would be a dream of mine to move into the family who loved me, loved me and bought me everything I wanted. But it just, Alicia thinks that that's what everybody needs. And it's likely what two or three of them need. And then the rest of them need completely different things. That's exactly what it is. This is a very good point, Sandra. That's why she didn't film the first day of school. Remember the last video we did, which was today on Doherty Dozen? She's like, oh, we didn't film the last first day of school because it was just crazy. Like you'd ever, like she'd ever miss an opportunity ever to film something. So we're all like, what happened? Now we know what happened. We know what happened in the first day of school. That's why she didn't film it. She's such a liar. Imagine having to lie to everybody all the time. She, tr she tries to buy their affection, but it doesn't work. You cannot buy people's affection, everybody. I know that people can say you can try, but if you think that you're buying someone's affection, you're not buying affection because affection is like love and everything. What you're doing is buying a dependence. Okay, it's not affection. You're you're mistaking it. You cannot get affection from somebody unless the affection is earned. 
right? And sometimes it's out of your control. Most of the times it's out of your control. So buying someone something does not earn you affection. It earns devotion possibly, but it earns like attachment. That's what it earns. Thanks, Tucker Carlson 2.0. Recap, uh, N from Dockerty Dozen has moved out of the home. Her brother has stayed, and we're just kind of going through all the ramifications and just recapping how bad Alicia is as a person because she's a trash bag of a human being. Actually, Ruby Frankie did not show a ton of affection. She didn't. She was cold the whole time. This is another thing too, right? How do the other kids feel about this? Their feelings matter too. They've got someone who lived them for a year. Now they're just gone. Bye. That's that's devastating. Okay? Devastating for children. That's like as can be as harsh as a divorce to some children. Because basically this is a divorce. And you know that Alicia's not going around speaking her praises around the house. You know that too, right? Because you know when the kid's like, where's Anne? She's like, well, Anne is getting me. She's going to just be a total biatch about it. You know she will be. Thank you, Megan CK. Oh, there's a Merp sticker. Get into it. Good point, Miranda Duffy. She's treating this like Anne was a tenant. Yep. Yep. Again, I hope people who are taking care of Anne are watching this. I hope everybody's out there watching it. Sue, Alicia Doherty for the money that you are owed for being on that channel. You are owed lots and lots, thousands and thousands of dollars. Merch that was sold, content that was put out on the internet, you are owed, every ad read that Dr. D doesn't got through Life360 or through Sunny D, through all those things, you are owed a percentage of that, even if it's just a small percentage of it. You are, all, you are a part of that channel that helped it grow and you are owed money. And so make sure you get yours, okay? You are owed the money. Do not let her get away with not paying you what you are owed. Some adoptions mandate you can't use a child on social media, but generally for a year. Overseas, you can't at all. And that's why exactly Nikki Philippine, her totally douchebag husband, didn't want to adopt from overseas. Wait, what? Could N sue Alicia? She's a minor. Well, she can, if she's owed money, she can get a lawyer. Yeah, you can sue somebody if you're a minor. Sure, you're, well, you're, you're, you're person, like the person that's taking care of you. Your adult, your parent could do it. Or she can just do it when she turns 18. Who do you think is next? There's going to be another one. There will be another one. This is just going to set into motion another exodus. Because if, if, if another kid in that home sees that, oh, well, she got to go. Well, then I'm, I want that too. I'm not going to tell you who it is, but it's going to be soon. You want to see Gus? Gus, Gus, are you here? Come, Gus, Gus. You want to say hi? Come, come, come and say hi. Who's my buddy? Oh, he was sleeping, everybody. Look at him. He was sleepies. Were you sleepies? Oh, he's a good boy. He's got a shooting star, everybody. Look at that. Isn't that amazing. Shooting star. Who's that good boy? Good boy. Were you having a nap? Okay, here you go. Here you go. He was out cold, you guys. Now he's mad. He's a good boy. He's my good boy. Okay, no more. Go. You've had too many. This this just pisses everybody off and it should. According to some sources, yes, she has seen my videos. Will you be covering Just Ass? Yeah, I'm definitely covering Just Ass. She can kiss everybody's ass, too. She uploaded, yeah, yep. She's, it's crazy. Most people will, like, exploit children, but she exploits her miscarriages, like, as if it's, like, content. I, I just can't, I can't understand how a human being could do that. What kind of dog is Gus? He's a sheep, a doodle. We miss Luna. Yeah, she came up for a visit with Tyson and she was just running around. We love her. We are animal people here. 
hundred percent. Like there's a frog outside that hang, hangs out. Now he's our best friend forever. That's the thing. I know I'm not going to put up the comment, but yeah, there are kids in this family who are treated worse than others, and we can see it on camera. Imagine that. We can see it on camera who's treated better than others. They can't hide that stuff. You can't do it, and we see it. My guess is James is next to my loving child. Well, again, I think all these kids would do better if they just weren't on the internet. If Alicia just said, hey, guys, it's been fun. But I actually uh, love my kids more than all this shit. And so it's been great, but we'll see you later. Sign off. Go live a normal life. Those kids will thrive. They will not have the problem. Could you imagine how good it would feel for those kids to not have the pressure of being on the internet anymore? And how many, how many times do you think Alicia has coerced her children into being on camera? Forced them to be on camera for these stupid roll calls and all the things on the vacations. Like, they're like, we're going on vacation. You know, normal family, like, I come to my family and say, hey, we're going on Disney cruise. And everybody's like, yeah, party time. We love it, right? Because I'm not going to film and put it on the internet. When Alicia comes home and says, hey, we're going to this place, those kids aren't probably happy about that. They're probably, oh, great. All of this is going to be filmed for content. Mom never puts the camera down the entire time we're ever on vacation. Have you ever seen a, a Doctor Who Dozen vacation video? That's crazy to me. There's not a moment she's not filming the whole vacation. That is crazy, people. She is never present in her children's lives because the camera is always on. Unbelievable. Yeah, we can see which kids don't want to be there. 100%, most of them. Shannon Rose is old news, man. I know she has, but Shannon Rose has literally become nothing on the internet. And it is exactly where she's meant to be. Okay. She gets like, she has a million subscribers and gets like a thousand views. She is done and good. Ugh, Shannon Rose. So. Anyway, that's kind of what's going on, Dr. Dozen. I wanted to update you because tomorrow again I have a Cura video and I didn't want to like, I've got content lined up and stuff like that. So um, yeah, we'll continue to cover this and keep on track of it, of course. We'll see what, how Alicia reacts and see what's happening to her videos through, uh, I'll look, I'll keep on social blade. You'll see videos if they get privatized, there'll be like a red deficit in her video interview counts and stuff like that. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on that for sure. Um, it'll be interesting to see if something um, comes out for this, you know? Get some treats for all the animals. Oh, they get treats every single night, Ilya. Ilya is like, she's she's amazing because she like takes in like burbs and shit like that off the street. She's like me. I would do the same damn thing. She always has like squirrels and she has like birds. She's like a Disney princess. So you're amazing, Ilya. But thanks for being here, everybody. And uh, I will see you tomorrow on my Kira video. And we'll keep touch with this one too. Okay? And again, and don't forget, we're going to keep track of the eight passenger shit that's going down because it's going down. It's going down downtown downtown jody hillebrand okay all right i'll see you guys later